Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to another movie review with Johnny. Let's jump right in. Today, we're talking about one of my personal favorite films and one of my favorite uh, box sets or collector sets that I own. Today, we're talking about the magnificent 1982 cult classic extravaganza, The Dark Crystal, Jim Henson's masterful piece of work. Let's dive right in. You see on the front cover here, Collector's Edition, uh, we've got uh, Jin, we've got Kira, we've got a Skeksis, I'm not sure which one, we've got a Mystic, also not sure which one, but there they are, and then we have the massive Dark Crystal, and then the words, The Dark Crystal. Trademarked, uh, you'll notice this is a DVD. Um, I promised that I'd be reviewing my Blu-rays. And so this has a little secret hidden message to it. <laughs> Let's take a look, but we'll get to it. Let's take a look at the spine. We've got Collector's Edition, The Dark Crystal, Jim Henson. Uh, what is that right there? Jim Henson. Oh, Jim Henson Home Entertainment. Uh, Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment DVD 02230. On the back, we just have a single picture of a mystic. Top and bottom, same thing. This is about a little less than an inch thick. Uh, nice brown leather look to it, uh, but it just has a, a matte paper feel. All right, so like I said, let's go ahead and open this up. And we've got some information on the inside panel here about the film. All the good stuff you've, you'd normally see on the back of a of a DVD case or a Blu-ray case. And on the inside, you'll notice the first thing here is a Blu-ray disc. Da, 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 da. Uh, I do own The Dark Crystal on both DVD and Blu-ray. I could not get rid of this uh, DVD case. Uh, it's way too stunning. The Blu-ray case is, of course, just a normal, old, boring Blu-ray case. So I put it in this little um, clear plastic uh, CD case, and it actually fits perfectly within this box set. So here is the Blu-ray disc. It is not part of this set, but I keep it in here because I discarded the original Blu-ray case. Moving right along. Uh, the first actual item that we have in this D, uh, DVD case is this lovely little piece of, I don't know what this is called, I apologize, but it's a its a little piece of, uh, there, you can hear it. <laughs> it's that. And it's got all this lovely information about uh, Jim Henson, signed by Son Henson. And then we have a fantastic litho here of the Dark Crystal Collector's Edition of Jin standing looking out over the countryside. On the back, the Dark Crystal Cenotype. Uh, Jim Henson's stunning cinematic masterpiece and all puppet production is a story about Jen. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Number 184513 uh, tells you about the limited edition little film cell here that's not actually a film cell, but that's okay. It still is super sick and awesome, especially when you hold it up to the light. Very cool. Next. And as I told you, I'm a huge fan of the Cenotypes, so anything that's got them, I try to get them. <laughs> Next, we have here a little makeshift notepad to resemble Jim Henson's, and then they've taken screenshots of, of Jim Henson's, I guess, actual sketch pad that he used to develop the film. So I'll just flip through a couple pages here. A lot of notes, uh, even some little little cool sketch drawings. This is definitely a uh, fun thing when you have time to go back, read through it. You've got little little drawings of Skeksis and Mystics and so forth. All right, and then next. Um, this is why I couldn't just, we'll compare these two next to each other. This is why I couldn't just you know discard the DVD and put the Blu-ray in there. Look how sick this DVD disc is. Uh, I think that's Chamberlain on the on the disc there, the Dark Crystal Collector's Edition. Very, very cool, kind of hand-drawn looking sketch on top of uh, text from his notebook. So we'll pop that out. Just a regular DVD, and then of course you've just got a uh, insert that's glued into the box here of a blown mold plastic holder for the DVD. So let's go ahead and put these goodies back in here. We'll put them back in order. We'll put the disc, which we already did, the notebook, the Cenotype, then the, um, man, it's just it's killing me that I can't remember what this is called, but uh, we'll just put the smoky piece of plastic on here, <laughs> and then we've got the Blu-ray, Blu-ray disc and the acrylic, and there is the box set right there. Super collectible, super, super awesome. 
Uh, I originally acquired this in Georgia from a secondhand shop. I lived in Georgia for a couple of years, and I acquired this at a secondhand shop. And uh, I'm sure you can probably find it on Amazon or eBay or something. So grab it. All right. Jim Henson stars in this film as Jen. He puppeteers. I believe he voices as well. Uh, Catherine Mullen is the voice of Kira. And Frank Oz, Yoda, is Ogra. And, of course, many others. Uh, if you've never seen the film, let me give you a little synopsis here. Uh, it's another planet, another time, a thousand years ago, and the mysterious dark crystal was damaged, and an age of chaos has begun. The evil race of grotesque, bird-like lizards, the Skeksis, gnomish dragons, rule their planet with an iron claw. Meanwhile, the last of the Galflings, Jen and Kira, join forces and embark on a dangerous journey to heal the precious dark crystal and restore order and balance to their planet. This film is rated PG. It is action and adventure, animation, kids and family, science fiction, and fantasy. It's directed by Jim Henson, Frank Oz, and many other people uh, at the lovely Jim Henson Studios. It's written by Jim Henson and David Adele. It arrived in theaters in December 17th of 1982 and on digital video disc first on October 5th of 1999. The runtime is a cool one hour and 33 minutes. IMDb gives it a 7.2 out of 10 stars, and Rotten Tomato gives it the exact same 72%. Uh, as I mentioned, this is one of my favorites. It's in my top 25 of all time. It may actually be in my top 10 if I sat down and actually thought about it. I personally disagree with the 72% given by Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb. I would have done maybe like an 85 plus percent. Uh, one of my favorite positive quotes about this film is that it's an extraordinary piece of film, a mesmerizing achievement of design and performance. And my favorite inane comment about this lovely film is that it comes off as an overblown puppet show. You couldn't be more wrong. The entire film is made up of puppets. I think there's at one point, though, there's when Jin is running across the mountainscape. I think it actually is a kid in a little costume, but... I mean, I guess that's still considered a puppet because there's adults in, in, in costumes and those are puppets as well. So uh, I, of course, give this film a triumphant, magnificent, radiant, dual thumbs up and demand that you check it out on Blu-ray or DVD or any other format that you must. Uh, you need to see the film. It is a weird film, of course. It is a cult classic film. Uh, but if you like films like Labyrinth or Never Ending Story, um, the last unicorn, secret of Nim. This this is all in that in that same kind of vein. So if you like those, you're gonna you're gonna enjoy this. It's actually probably a little scary for for little kids. I probably shouldn't have watched this at the age that I first did, but it's cool. I mean, it's just it's cool. You'll dig it. Uh, of course, I always appreciate and request your comments and feedback. So if you have any, please give. Thank you for letting me take a few minutes of your time today to show you this. Uh, if you do like the videos, please share them with your friends. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to keep pumping these out as best that I can. And then I'll see you guys right back here for another movie review very soon.